Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the Royal Monastery of Santa Maria de Guadalupe in Western Spain. So this is the Royal Monastery of Santa Maria in Guadalupe in the west of Spain. Now we're in a valley surrounded by high mountains. It's a very dramatic place and the monastery here is actually really, really important. Its history is inextricably linked with two key events in Spanish history, the conquest of the New World and the final expulsion of Muslims from southern Spain. Let's have a look inside. So this is the inner cloister of the monastery here and it's got these beautiful mudahar touches which is the Islamic influenced uh, area of Spanish art. It's got these beautiful patterned coloured tiles and the beautiful bubble archways as well. It's very, very distinct. Now the monastery is actually still an active Franciscan monastery as well as a place of worship and pilgrimage so unfortunately we can't film inside the basilica or the active areas of worship. So the monastery was actually founded in the 13th century when a local shepherd found a statue of the Virgin Mary in a riverbank. Now, it was placed there by people fleeing Seville in the 7th century from Muslim invaders and they built a chapel over the site. Now when King Alfonso XI fought a key battle against the Muslims, he prayed here the night before. When he was victorious, he returned and greatly enlarged the site. It became a royal monastery and it retained that right through until the 19th century. Now as a royal monastery, this area was patronised by many of the most important Spanish kings and queens and two of the most important are Isabella and Ferdinand. Between them, they sponsored Columbus's expedition to the New World and they were living right here in the monastery when they signed the documents. Columbus himself, upon returning from the New World, came here in pilgrimage. And when the first Native Americans were brought to Europe from the New World, many of them were baptised in the fountain that you can see behind me. Well, we've just finished our tour, which was very interesting. But as I said, it's a bit of a shame we can't film a lot of areas in the monastery. But we were able to see the Black Madonna, which is the main relic that's worshipped here. And it's had an enormous impact on the world as well, because worship of the Black Madonna was taken to Latin America by Spanish conquistadors during the colonial period. So yeah, lots and lots of people worldwide revere this relic, which I find fascinating. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage site.